received word late last week from the state association that the application to the Realtor Relief Foundation for the rain event in late June had been approved. This week, we'll be learning how the application process is going to work, and we'll be submitting press releases to the Gross Point newspapers about how this will proceed. We are pleased to be able to offer this benefit to the community. Following up on the RRF announcement, we were contacted by FEMA asking if they could do a presentation to realtors at our office. That meeting is scheduled for August 27th. The class will be hybrid, which means we will have limited live seating and unlimited virtual participation. Live is first come, first serve. Registration is at the board website. While I am on the topic of classes, don't forget next week, we have the program on homeowners insurance, Monday the 16th. Wednesday the 25th, we have Taming the Transaction, From Closing to Client for Life. Sign up for it is also at gpbr.com. This Thursday, the 12th, is the morning coffee pop-up at Morning Glory on Kirchival. It starts at 8.30, and Friday the 13th is the roundtable luncheon. Registration for the roundtable is necessary, so we know how much food to order. Please remember there is a $5 refundable registration fee for those who register and attend the session. Market conditions. Inventory continues to climb up 8.9% over the start of July this year and up 88% over March of this year when it was at its lowest. And while there has been a slight uptick on median days on the market, it is still above below 10 days. A year ago, it was 30 days and in July of 2019, it was 44. The percent of asking price sellers are getting for their homes also remains above 100%, which is also up from both one and two years ago. All in all, these numbers continue to demonstrate that the increase in inventory has not had a negative impact on home values, which continue to climb. The increase in inventory has also had a, has a positive impact on sales with 3.3 more homes pending in July of 2021 over July of 2019, although they were down 2% from June of this year, which is to be expected as individuals across the state took advantage of great weather and planned summer vacations for the first time in two years, which is typical seasonality for the area. While I mentioned classes earlier, we have some great networking events coming up in the next few weeks. I mentioned the coffee pop-up at Morning Glory, but we also have a great RPAC event at the Country Club of Detroit. There will be drinks, food, and live entertainment. Registration is at the board website. On September 1st, we have our live general membership meeting and breakfast at the Italian American Cultural Center starting at 9 a.m. And on September 13th, our 30th annual golf outing at Gowney Golf Club. We are now at 20 registered foursomes and can accommodate 10 more. Early bird pricing for both golf and dinner ends the end of next week on August 13th. That does it for another week. Until next time, be productive, successful, and profitable. And as always, stay safe. Bye.